Good morning. This is the KSL Fastcast for Wednesday, January 15th. I'm Shara Park. A woman and two girls are dead. Police are saying the result of a murder suicide. Syracuse police say they have interviewed other persons of interest in the case, but investigators are still piecing together what exactly happened. Police were first called to the home near 2100 West and 1100 South yesterday evening and found the bodies. So far, the names of the victims have not been released. Right now, police in Provo are investigating a deadly auto pedestrian crash on University Avenue at 7 North. The victim was taken to the hospital in extremely critical condition and later died. We'll have more information about what exactly happened on KSL 5 News at noon. In the meantime, police are asking motorists to avoid the area. And in an effort to combat a deadly crosswalk in Ogden, UDOT will install a new overhead lighting system. Four people have died near the intersection of Binford Street and Wall Avenue since December of 2012. There are warning signs already in place, but pedestrians must cross five lanes of traffic without any warning lights. UDOT tells the standard examiner the project costs $40,000 and should be working by Friday. Now let's check out the fast cast forecast for today. Salt Lake with a high of 42 and some sunshine out there. Ogden 40, Provo 41 and St. George. Wow, you just keep climbing up today. 65.